In this lecture, we will see how we can debug unit tests written by Jest using VS Code. So this lecture is only valid for VS Code users. If you use another editor, the, the information in this lecture are not valid for you. But if you're using VS Code, then having unit tests and debugging through them is like a developer dream. This is the ideal development position. And if you are in it, you will have a much easier time writing your code and your tests. Let's see how this is done. Well, I'm not inventing anything. I'm not discovering anything. And if I want to use VS Code usually to debug something, what I do is I go to a web browser and search for VS Code, maybe it's VS Code Recipes, just like this. And uh, the first result that comes to you is the repository VS Code Recipes from Microsoft. And if you open this repository, you will see that you will have Recipes for all kinds of frameworks and uh, programming languages. What we want to do right now is to debug Jest tests. As you can see, we also have debugging recipes for all the for many other frameworks. So I will click debug Jest tests. There are there is lots of information right here. But if I will just slowly go down, you will see that we will need a debug configuration. So basically, this is the debug configuration. This debug configuration will debug all our tests, but what, what I want to do is to debug the just current file. This one right here. So I will just copy this object until now, right here. I will copy it and go to VS Code. And uh, the view that we will be using is the run and debug view. This one right here. First of all, if I don't have a JSON launch.json file, I will need to click create a launch.json file, this one right here. A Node.js doesn't really matter what you choose right here because we will edit this ourselves. So this debug configuration is a array which holds different configurations. This is a basic Node.js configuration, but what we want to do now is to debug a just test. So I will paste our configuration right here. And let's try to understand what exactly is going on. So again, the type of this configuration is node. The request is launch. The name of this configuration is, is just current file. Our program, this is an important part. Our program will invoke the executable from our node modules, our just executable. And here we have some arguments. The important one is this one that we are executing the relative file. This means that we are running the file that we have opened. And again, this is an important point because we are using just config.ts. Make sure that you make this change. If you are using a J JavaScript configuration file, then leave it like that. All right, let's see how uh, this is working. And uh, I will go to our VS code, our tests. Very important also in your configuration to make sure that your test environment is node, otherwise it won't work. And all I have to do right now is to go to a test. And usually when I'm debugging, I am trying to also use this only tests to make sure that I'm uh, debugging the right thing. So I will put up an only right here. So I'm only running this describe and I'm only running this test inside this describe to make sure that I'm hitting the right thing. I will put a breakpoint right here and I will also put a breakpoint inside our class right here. And you will see both of them will be hit. All right, I'm in my unit uh, utils test file. I will go to our run and debug. And now if we look careful, we have the entry, just current file. So I have this file opened and uh, I have a preview on it and I can press play. This took some uh, seconds, but as you can see, our breakpoint is hit. This means that we are very able to make a debug configuration. And this is a great view because 
in the, this view you can we can inspect the state of our application very very easily we can see that we have the actual we can see information about system of, about our system under test we can even uh, navigate through this uh, test and if i will want to resume or continue this implementation you will see that our other breakpoint will be hit if i will continue that then it will go into our main class our string utils and as you can see we have this breakpoint i can even hover over this uh, argument and see its uh, value we can see on the left right here more information currently we don't uh, have much information right here but if we would work with complex objects this would, this would be much easier to read we also have the call stack right here to see exactly who is calling our code and here i can we can step over this implementation as you can see i'm trying to uh, evaluate this if if i go step over if this is false it will directly go right here if this is true that it will enter this invalid argument let's see what happens yes it will just return right here and if i resume one more time it will directly enter the other test that we are running and as you can see now if this argument is the empty string it will just throw the error it will enter the if and so on so on i will stop this execution and uh, we have the conclusions right now we saw in this lecture a way a great way and i call it the developer dream if i'm working on uh, a complex project the first thing i do is to try to debug either the application but if it has tests and i can debug them this is great so we saw in this lecture how to do this this is the best developer experience.